What's going on guys, it's your boy Christian and welcome your faces back to the FS5 Beginner's Guide. Now in this video, we're gonna be talking about the ND filter and auto ND filter that is here in the Sony FS5. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So first things first, what is ND? What is auto ND? So ND stands for neutral density. It's neutral density filter. And then of course, auto ND is gonna be automatic neutral density. Filter. So what do you use that for here on the Sony FS5? So neutral density is going to be like sunglasses for your camera. Now you're able to basically keep your ISO, your shutter speed, and even your f-stop the same and change your neutral density to basically give you either more exposure or less exposure. So let me go ahead and put this into kind of like a scenario for you guys. So if you were shooting outside and you wanted to shoot at f2, but you didn't know what to do as far as, you know, cranking up the F number to get less light to come in, which is gonna give you more in focus, but it's gonna be a little bit soft and you're not gonna be able to retain that depth of field that you would if you were shooting at F2. So that's definitely not gonna be an option. Now you don't wanna go and change your shutter speed because then your movement is gonna look weird. So that's not an option either. And most of the time you don't wanna move your ISO up or down. You wanna keep it at that sweet spot, which is gonna possibly be the native. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and set that neutral density filter. Now here on the FS5, ND is this nice, beautiful aluminum knob and it has clear one, two, and three on it. Now that one, two, and three are gonna allow you to set those preset modes in the settings menu. So you can either go to 1 4th, 116, or 132, or depending on definitely what you're shooting, you basically can change those to your desired needs. Now given that you can switch between those one, two, and three mode dial here, on the Sony FS5, you're actually able to use the dial right below it to get into a variable standpoint. So you're able to go like one over four, one over five, one over six, one over eight, whatever, you know, all the way in between one over one fourth and one over 128. You're able to go anywhere in between there to get your desired exposure. I'm actually shooting this video that you're watching right here on ND one over one fourth. So as you can see, I'm still retaining a lot of that depth of fill and I still have a lot of quality here. So you're not gonna lose any quality while using the ND filter that's built into the Sony FS5. Now, one thing I did forget to mention here is that whenever you get to that mode dial, you gotta make sure that it's in ND and not in iris. If it's set in iris and you slide that mode dial up or down, it's actually gonna change the F number on the lens if you're using electronic lens here on the Sony FS5. So make sure that bad baby is clicked into ND and you should be able to scroll through the variable ND settings here on the Sony FS5. And of course, the higher the ND, the darker it's gonna get. So if you wanna shoot this F2 lens like I have right here outside and keep that F2 at F2, keep your ISO as low as possible and also keep that shutter speed as natural as possible, then you wanna go ahead and change that in D to basically get your exposure correct. Now let's go ahead and jump into auto ND. Now auto ND is gonna allow you to basically turn on the ND filter, turn on auto ND, and then you're able to basically move left or right, in or out, go inside of a building, go outside of a building, and the camera will set the ND to basically what it thinks is perfect X. Exposure. Now, you don't necessarily have to use Auto ND, and I feel like this is a game changer here in the Sony FS5, and it doesn't get enough credit because ND filter is some of those things that you know some people are gonna eventually have to end up buying for the end of their lenses. But here on the Sony FS5, it's actually built into the camera. Now, if you was to go into the settings menu here on the Sony FS5, go all the way down to ND filter set. That's where you're gonna be able to find your Auto ND setting and also that one, two, and three settings that you can set for the mode dial here on the Sony FS5. Now with using ND filter, there is going to be kind of a pro and kind of a con. Now a pro is gonna be, you're gonna be able to shoot any lens at any f-stop with using the ND filter, and you're gonna be able to retain that depth of fill, which is gonna give you that stylistic Look, now one of the cons here on the Auto ND are just the ND 
in general is that if you're already shooting and you don't have your ND filter on, the ND filter will actually slate down in front of the sensor and you're actually able to see that in your footage. So you kind of either want to set auto ND or already know you're going to be using an ND filter when you're getting ready to shoot. Of course, you would know that if you was looking to, of course, get your exposure as perfect as possible, shooting wide open, having the lowest ISO and also retaining that nice, smooth, fluid shutter speed. Anyways, guys, that's actually going to be it for this video. We didn't have to go too in depth on the ND filter because you actually can, like I said, get ND filters to go on the outside of your lens. This is just built into the camera. So you do have a little bit more functionalities given that it can actually auto ND for you and you don't have to reach onto the lens to actually change it. It's game changer here in the FS5 and I believe Sony has started implementing this into their newer cameras because I know the FS5 isn't necessarily new by any means. But if you guys have been wondering how to work that ND filter, this is basically how to work it. Now I did go over the user interface here on the Sony FS5. So if you guys missed that, make sure you guys jump back, watch that video, and then jump into watching this ND filter video. And you'll be able to basically kind of get the gist of where the buttons are and how everything works as far as the buttons here on the Sony FS5. Anyways, it's been your boy Christian. Hope you guys are enjoying the Sony FS5 Beginner's Guide. I've gotten a lot of questions, a lot of concerns, a lot of comments from a lot of you guys saying that this has been helping you out and you've been helping other people out by sending my videos and I do appreciate that a ton. So if you guys are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more Sony FS5 Beginner's Guide videos, make sure you hit that like button because that just shows me you guys are enjoying these and you want me to make more. It's been your boy Christian, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.